We're not cooking bacon today, but we are cooking jalapeno poppers in our convection oven. We're doing so with the FF Power 2000 watt power station. Now this guy's interesting because it's also an 1100 watt UPS. So as long as whatever you plug into this on the output side is under 1100 watts, this will act as your UPS. So if you lose power from the grid, it would switch over and provide that power to you within 10 milliseconds. It has a supercharger on it. This one is actually available currently on Amazon for around $1,400. It is lithium iron phosphate batteries, lots of good things inside. It is priced up there with many of the other high-end units on the market. And we're gonna go through this, kind of just show you what it is and let you make your decision where you wanna spend your money. Stay tuned. So we currently have a convection oven plugged in and a Greenworks battery charger. We're doing about 1580 watts out and we're doing 1680, 1690 watts in. So we're doing a little bit of charging at this point in time. We have, it's, it's 14 hours remaining on the battery. It's just interesting. You'll see this drop down. We just uh, had the convection oven turn off. So we will be charging at a more rapid rate in that convection oven will turn back on and things will change. But if you're watching the voltage at all, when that convection oven turns off, our voltage actually went up to 114. Now we are plugged in to grid power. If we unplug from grid power, we'll watch our voltage go down to around 110. And that's going to stay pretty constant no matter if our convection oven is on or off and it's just going to start pulling from the battery at that point in time. This isn't bad, but if we plug back in, you'll see the volts go up to around 120, which we're about 124 here at the plug. And then they'll slowly drop back down to around 114 as it passes through. So anything that you have plugged in here, as far as your UPS, you're going to want to make sure that it is good running at 110 volts and is this is a pure sine wave unit, so it's going to be safe for electronics, but again, it's one of those things that I always would recommend. Make sure you know what your appliances, computers, or anything are rated to run at, at a minimum, because this will drop down. Now we do have 1588 watts out. We'll unplug again just to show you that even at that watts out, we're still at 110 volts, which is good. As far as outputs go, you do have multiple styles of 12 volt outputs. The top two are 10 amp and the bottom two are three amp. You have a lot of USB A's here. So we have two, two amps. And then on the other side, we have uh, the QC 3.0's. So those are gonna be 18 watts out of those. We have two PD 100 watt USB C's, which is awesome. There's a light here. I, I'm not a big fan of lights on this stuff. You could hear it beep. We have to push and hold for some of that to come on. It works. If we go around to the side, we can show you that we have six AC outputs on the side. And then on the input side, we have a place for your solar panel or grid power. I guess in talking here, we kind of overdid our jalapeno poppers, but they are done. So why am I excited about this particular unit rather than maybe upgrading to the Bluedy AC200 when it's gonna be only $100 more? Well, the first thing I like about this is that it is a UPS. So being able to be plugged into the wall and then supplying power to something else quickly like a sump pump or your computer system or anything else that you feel that needs to have power all the time, I think it's a huge benefit. Beyond that, the lithium iron phosphate batteries in here is the same as what's in the Bluedy, but I believe that that's still good because they're, they're gonna take 2,500 charges. So you have 10 years on this before you start to lose any amount of really significant battery. And that's cool. 
But what really kind of brings me back is the UPS. And, and if you've looked around on some other videos that we've had, that UPS feature to me is huge. I can put this in the trailer, run a solar power unit to it. It will optimize the solar power coming in and charge this as fast as possible. I think that's great. I'm never gonna have five solar panels hooked up to this. Somebody might, so I will always run at uh, somewhere between 60 to 100 watts coming into this at a time, and it's gonna take some time to charge, but it's always going to be sunny for 12 hours a day, and I'm not gonna use this all that much in the trailer. So I think that's cool. There are some benefits of it. It is lighter by a significant weight uh, than the Bluti. I think it's almost 18 pounds different. This is around 50 pounds. It's fairly easy to move around and there's really only one storage cord that you have to have. There isn't a big box to charge it. Now I'm not bagging on any of the other units that are out there. They all have their pluses and minuses, but if I was going to give you the pluses to this, that's where it would be. This does have a two-year warranty. We've discussed Amazon warranties before, so we don't have to go into that. That's a risk you can take. I like the outputs, I like what it'll do, I like the power that it'll supply. I think that's great. It will cut off if you uh, push and overload it significantly, so that's something that I think is a great safety factor out there. But realistically, we have uh, other videos out that'll tell you what these units will do. In fact, uh, we have a clone of this one on that as to what this unit will actually do. And we also have maybe what to expect, what to look for while you're buying one. You can just search around our channel a little bit. You'll find a lot of stuff on this because I really think that these have their uses in many, many different places. You just have to get a good one. And in my mind, this one is up there as one of the better ones, although it's not a huge brand that's out there. FF Power is not, you know, the, the, I'm not going to go into the brands. You understand where I'm coming from. I always love to hear your comments. Next time we pull one of these out, we got to find something different to cook. And I may go back to bacon because bacon just rocks. So comments below, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for your time. Have a great day.